<laughs> and he's off. That was so fast, Shrek. I wasn't even ready for you. We'll follow, we'll follow you, Mr. Shrek. A, <laughs> that was a nice, so speedy. It's a nice hearty beef piece for a nice hearty bobcat. All right. Well, we can follow. We can follow Mr. Shrek over. Okay. If, if yeah, I know if my fingers will out. work. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Happy Monday. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Happy Monday. You are tuned in live to Wildcat Sanctuary. One of our rescued residents. Well, one of our Shrek. Post that is if we can get some good <laughs> cell phone service today. Welcome, Nancy Hodel's here. Lois A is watching. Sherry V. Hey, Sherry. Carrie, Carrie. Miller. Hey, Carrie. Good does anybody, morning. Does anybody recognize this bobcat? This is a face, uh, a face that we don't often see on live posts. So I'm hoping that uh, there's some bobcat recognition happening in the comments. Lisa Wallstrom, good morning to you. Hey, Maria Vaughn. How's everyone doing? I hope it was a marvelous weekend. It's kind of warm and pleasant uh, here in Minnesota, and I hope it was for everyone else, wherever they find themselves watching this post from. Hillary Boxel is watching. Hey, Hillary. Tanya Toner, a neighbor from Wisconsin. Carrie Miller. Carrie Miller. Excellent, excellent nice Bobcat job. recognition from Carrie. That is Bobcat Shrek. And zoom out for a moment, Olivia, yeah. if you can. Just give us some context. So Shrek uh, lives right next to Anastasia. And to our left would be Daisy's habitat. So you have yep, uh, right wild woodlands, there. Daisy's over there. I can see Indy uh, see, seeing what we're up to. Yeah, Alyssa's hanging Indy out on her platform. over there. And then right on the other side of Shrek would be the two new habitats that you yes. all helped us build. Uh, new bobcat habitat and then Sushi's habitat. Hello, Sarah. And welcome back, Judson. Two of us on this live today. Good there to have are. you back. I'm back. Feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, revitalized. That's good. All the R's. All the R's. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just great to be back. Great spring weather here in Minnesota, as always. The sanctuary never sleeps, and it was a productive weekend for all. There was some, uh, I think we had our first volunteer team up this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, or we're one of the larger crew day volunteer teams of the volunteer season here at the sanctuary. And yeah, it's uh, it's just good to feel that kind of spring momentum, summer momentum here. Thank you, Tana, for the welcoming back. Can we see how the new construction is coming along Absolutely. on the new habitats? Most definitely, Andrea. It's right behind us. Uh, and so kind of we, we did exactly that is earlier during Miracle Match, and here comes Shrek, who's, Shrek. who is fast as lightning, uh, was exactly that, is that we were able to build the habitats and erect the habitats, and we needed everyone's help kind of creating the creature comforts within the habitats, the platforms, the perches, the caves. Now look at Aaron watching I Shrek know. over here, too. Aaron behind us. She says, I think I'm, I'm going to pray. I think I could take that bobcat over there. And Aaron, you have no idea <laughs> what type of what type of ferocious animal Mr. Shrek is. <laughs> All right, Shrek, I'm hoping to catch this one on camera this time. Shrek's working on a puzzle feeder that a few of our cats have been getting. It's a new installment here at the sanctuary. I know that Sir Will Thane has had this puzzle feeder. Beauty, Eurasian Lynx Beauty. <laughs> wow. Beauty had a slightly different approach. Judson, you missed it, but last week, Beauty was a little slower, a little more sheepish when it came to this. So Shrek's going going at it right away. Shrek is Shrek's a great guy, first of all, um, and, a, and a really special cat. Shrek, we know, um, was rescued by us. It would have been about two years ago, Shrek, or about a year and a half, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, I think from the moment I met Shrek, he was kind of the very stern, serious, uh, you know, and, you know, and he's just meant to be uh, taken for, for exactly what he is, a Shrek, or rather a bobcat. <laughs> uh, and Shrek, uh, Shrek was privately owned, and I'm happy to see that now Shrek is living safe at Sanctuary. And like many of our rescues, Shrek didn't have certain things um, in his previous life that he now has at Sanctuary, among uh, many things, but most importantly, Shrek, uh, you know, he had an outdoor space. And one thing that was unique about Shrek, and I remember introducing his story and talking about him, is that Shrek did have an outdoor space, but it was roofed. Shrek had never seen the sky before. 
Um, and so I think we kind of often talk about the different firsts for so many of our rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Uh, and that's definitely one that has some magnitude is, you know, Shrek, a wild animal, had never, ever seen the sky before until coming to TWS. It's uh, certainly much deserved, Mr. Shrek, and then some. Kendra, love the video of the variety of food-related enrichment. Yep, so that puzzle feeder would have been on that video with Beauty taking a stab at it. Yeah, yeah, it's been really great to see all that. And, and it's uh, worth giving a commendation to some of our volunteers yes. who have been uh, creating the, this enrichment. I see Jenny Wire getting excited. Jenny, I remember uh, you were you yourself were gluing and, and cutting some of the PVC to create uh, this puzzle feeder toy. So Jenny, you should feel just as good as uh, Shrek is as he puzzles out his food <laughs> right here. For sure. Lots of people welcoming you back, Judson. Oh, thank you, everyone. And also saying, remembering the car ride you did to go get Shrek. Oh, yes. A uh, poor Rio having to deal with me quoting Shrek the movie the whole, the whole way. Um, <laughs> no, I can only imagine. Yeah, poor Rio. <laughs> but, uh, um, but no, that was, uh, you know, obviously awesome when we can kind of come together as a uh, community and join in on a rescue like that. And um, those are always going to be some of my most fond memories of being here at the sanctuary. Rescuing together. Happy Monday, Debbie Sams. Hey, Debbie. And look at Shrek there. One thing, too, uh, you know, that I think it's just, I don't know how we overlook it, but sometimes we can. It's just how powerful bobcats are. Yes. So you might have saw Olivia, and, I, and I'm kind of going to use this to segue into how Shrek has been given puzzle feeders before. And I like this new style of puzzle feeder because you can see it's attached to his habitat mm -hmm. wall there. Shrek is, he's like Rocky. He boxes and punches and you'll, you'll maybe, he's being a little more delicate now, but when he first started puzzling this out, you're going to see him really kind of knock that puzzle toy. Uh, and that's the type of power these bobcats have. When we crate our bobcats, uh, we use reinforced crates because they will punch through the crate. Um, and uh, just kind of seeing, maybe he might uh, be a little less delicate as he continues to puzzle through, but I'm sure maybe some of you have caught some indications of just how powerful uh, a little package like Shrek can be. Yeah, extremely, extremely strong. Look at that, Olivia. We have 130 people watching wow. Shrek puzzle out uh, some delicious food here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Welcome, everyone, for joining us today. And uh, we are just so happy to have all of you along with us because it is you our supporters who make all things Wildcat Sanctuary possible. From fun moments like this where bobcats can feel enriched and stimulated to the ex expert veterinary care our cats receive uh, and all the things we've been driving towards over Miracle Match. So, so happy to have all of you along with us, Mr. Shrek. Emily Rose getting excited about her uproar magazine that arrived. Great to hear, Emily. <laughs> Bree, you have a talking donkey? <laughs> yeah, it's getting him to shut up. That's the problem. Bree, that's a good Shrek reference. Yeah, that's, yes. a, that's a line that caretaker Rio could identify with, you know, what, you know, probably in about hour 18 into our 24-hour uh, <laughs> road trip. That's so funny. <laughs> I need to make a smaller version of that puzzle toy for my six fur kids. That's That would be a great idea, Rhonda. I think yeah. you could probably do this with paper towel tubes, but I love doing enrichment for my own animals, and I, too, get ideas from the caretakers at TWS. Yeah, that's a that's really cool to, to think that. And you're right, Olivia. Paper towel tubes, uh, Dixie cups, yeah, who knows? That's I, think, a good point. I think that there's a, a lot of options. and. And that's exactly the thing is, you know, why why do you go to, uh, you know, a pet store to to get your domestic cat all the, t you know, fun toys and laser pointers because you want to keep them stimulated. And uh, and that's the same, you know, the same idea with our rescued residents and kind of cool to see it maybe on a more wild cat scale with the wood and the PVC. Yeah, and, uh, a little bit more, tougher. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little more reinforced. Yes. Mr. Shrek. It looks like he's worked his way through most of it. We saw a caretaker set this up. It wasn't his, was it his full meal, Judson? Uh, he received a par partial, partial meal, meal in yeah. his bungalow and, okay. then, uh, and, then, partial, uh, and then partially in uh, the puzzle feeder here. But you worked this out quickly, Shrek. You he did, did. yeah. Job. There was a big beef piece in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're the boss, mister. You're the boss. Yeah, I love that pink nose you have, Shrek. I know. 
Um, but, you know, these are some of the interactions that, you know, maybe you would think that, you know, it's the chuffing tiger coming up to the fence <laughs> and saying hi to you. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's the interactions of a cat who says, I'm the boss. This is my space. You're here in my space. And I'm going to let you know that I rule the roost here. And that's exactly what Shrek just did us uh, to us here. And Olivia and I being uh, trained by Tammy and the animal. Uh, make sure and it's it's just so cool to kind of see those interactions and and maybe how we think about it absolutely and i think that's a good example of why we're a no contact sanctuary too shrek knows that back up if he tells us to and there's an expectation from him too that we're not going to reach through that fence so it gives everybody the bubble and the space that they need exactly you know, Andrea, that's a good question. Is Shrek's coat darker um, than a lot of other bobs? You know, I'd say that, you know, obviously, and Olivia can expand on this of, you know, just how many variations of, of kind of bobcat coats that we mm -hmm. see. Yeah, Shrek certainly is, you know, a little bit more brown um, than kind of that, you know, maybe more gray. He's got some salt and pepper in there. He's definitely got a lot of white in his coat. Um, I think Shrek looks a lot like Essie. I think yes. Shrek is a is a larger version of Essie. And Kaya too. And Kaya, I was just mm -hmm. about to say. Um, but Olivia, why you know, why do all of these rescue bobcats why why can they look so different? Yeah, it's a good question. Bobcats are actually quite a diverse species when it comes to phenotype. Phenotype just means what you can physically see on the animal, so that would be coat color included. And phenotype can vary with bobcats with location, so where they're from, especially wild-born bobcats. And then in captivity, obviously, it would just be what people are selectively breeding for. So bobcats like Brianna, Brianna bobcat, especially with a fluffier gray coat, yeah. that's because she is coming from a fur farm. So I think that the coats can tell a little bit of a story on our bobcats too. Even body size, Sky and Celine, coming from a western area of the United States, are a little more more red brown in color and if you think about the environment they're coming from it makes a lot of sense so I think it's super interesting yeah yeah it's certainly that's you know one thing that's cool and also just thinking about you know the natural adaptations of you know maybe how a southwest bobcat looks versus a Minnesota bobcat and um, it's it is very intriguing I'm glad I have uh, you know a, a kind of a wildlife biologist Olivia here to, <laughs> to help kind of fill in some of those details I just know kind of robust detail so thank you for that of course using words like phenotype i wouldn't even dare Olivia. phenotype <laughs> well you have a lot of knowledge too judson yes. so together we make it work okay that's yes. i like that scrolling through some a few yes. more comments here Ooh, another enrichment idea Lori. Our pet sitter made a ball from tissue paper and attached it to a cat wand, and it has been entertaining. Mystery and mayhem, I love those names. Yeah, All Lori. weekend while we've been in Seattle. That's cool. Yeah, oh, I've always loved the names of, of your cat, Lori. Mystery and, and mayhem. They, cool. they, it just seems like they would fit right in at the wildcat sanctuary with, with names like that. Yes. <laughs> Judson wasn't Fiona at the same time as Shrek. Tanya, uh, Tanya, that's correct. She was. And so, you know, I think that that's kind of what what's unique about the rescue world that we do is that um, we weren't able to make that public to everyone at the time. And then during the rescue, we were able to share the news that not only were Rio and I, the rescue crew that you knew that you were supporting on the road, that we were just one of two rescue crews uh, out that you were supporting. So that's exactly right. It would have been Fiona coming from Arizona, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and then Mr. Shrek coming from the West Coast. And mm -hmm. we um, were able to rendezvous with another accredited sanctuary in uh, Montana to get you all the way home, Mr. Shrekers. cleaning his paws a little bit now. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he maybe is winding down. I don't want to speak too soon. Well, and that's, I think that's kind of cool, Olivia, is that he's got the easy ones, you know, where he's yes. kind of sticking his head in there. He's able to get his, his lips in there. Obviously we're, we're, we never want to create a puzzle feeder that's impossible exactly. for any of our cats, but we don't want to create a puzzle feeder that's just a gimme. So Shrek had, uh, he had those bigger beef pieces. He has some, uh, some canned, uh, looks like some canned wet food kind of dispersed through some of those smaller holes. So Shrek is going to have uh, his paws full here and then some for a good majority of uh, the afternoon. And we love seeing that. Yeah, I like that you mentioned that, Judson. Enrichment is definitely designed for the cat to win. It's obviously a challenge, but we don't want to create frustration with our rescues. Yeah.
Yeah, that's exactly right. And, 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 you know, I think it's just cool too to look at Shrek. I can only imagine how active that brain is right yes. now. That flickering tail. Exactly. He's paw, he's kind of reaching his head. He's like, well, does this paw fit here? Well, my face fits here. And, and it's just, it's doing exactly what we want it to do. And it's awesome, awesome. Yeah, that tail tells all. I see lots of comments about it. And he is focused and alert right now working on this puzzle feeder. Well, and it also makes me happy. Shrek, who can be a little bit more sensitive about allowing people into his bobcat bubble that uh he's letting us hang out here i know he, it's really nice as he puzzles away can you kind of zoom out for a second olivia obviously we're kind of been zoomed in on on trek yeah. but he's got an awesome free roaming free habitat. habitat that indoor space with the bungalow there we lots more space than just this corner yeah. that we're zoomed in on right now he says but the, but the, oh the main event's right here folks Rosie, that's a good question. Is there a way to visit and interact with him? Not here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. We are a no contact facility and that is for the safety of the cats and us and to pay the cats the respect they deserve as the wild animals they are. I definitely encourage you to check out our website. We're also closed to the public. There's lots of cool things that we do as a sanctuary to keep this as wild at heart as possible for our rescued residents. Hey, Mr. Handsome. Ooh, grumbly <laughs> handsome. He says, I rule the roost here. And since we still have about 130 people on this live, yeah. we'll do another intro. Do you want to go check out uh, some other cats, yeah, Justin? Yeah, out across the way. I saw Lila Gurlissa in a good spot. And, and yeah, I think that'd be great, Olivia. Well, lots of new people, so welcome. This is the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. We are a rescue and sanctuary to 140 plus wildcats in need. We were hey, just really? with Bobcat Shrek, and this <laughs> is Tigress Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. So Shrek has quite Shrek has quite the neighbor. He's got a yeah. he's got a big old tiger on one side of him, and then of course uh, the lovely Anastasia. How are you going to stalk this? <laughs> and cheetahs, cheetahs, well, and tigers, and Anastasia. Of right across the way. Yes. Pretty Daisy. <laughs> she says, "I haven't had my coffee yet." Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. Is this what I'm supposed to chop for? <laughs> Daisy, you're catching some sun rays too. She says, yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Going back a little bit, Faith, I like that example. Faith mentioning the video featuring Essie and her turkey is a true testament to the power and strength that you were talking about earlier, Judson. Exactly. You know, we have Daisy Tigress here who is obviously very strong. Tigers are known as apex predators, but those bobcats too, they can pack a punch. That's exactly right. And so, Olivia, I think this is a kind of a good example, right? Of we're kind of walking over here and seeing Miss Daisy, and and Daisy, she's a lovely tigress, and you might kind of, <coughs> excuse me, you might kind of notice her kind of turning around like this, or she's reaching towards her back foot, and that's kind of the reality about a lot of the rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, um, is that some of them suffer from. Um, from mental deficiencies from their former life. Daisy is one of our special needs tigers. And so she is gonna have some type of neurological symptoms that you might see her spin every once in a while. You might see her reach for her back foot. Um, but Daisy's no worse for the wear. She's a happy and healthy tiger, but we do know that here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, our rescues are rescues and that um, some of them might have physical deficiencies. And with Daisy being um, one of our neurologic ti neurological tigers and having um, some of those mental deficiencies, we want to be aware of that. And it's definitely as we're looking at the comments here with all these new people, um, it's worth understanding where our cats came from and why they are the way they are and how we help them um, based on uh, their individual needs, Miss Daisy. Yeah, and Daisy's background is that she was being <laughs> exploited at a roadside zoo where she was not receiving medical care. I saw a comment just now, someone saying that their dream is to take a picture with a big cat like this. And I think Daisy is ultimately the perfect example of why that is not okay, something we advocate against and... Daisy, Daisy's fate could have been a lot different if she wasn't here at Sanctuary. So again, I would direct you back to our website. I'm sure people will drop our educational links in the comments, but it's never a good idea to take a picture with the big cat and it's actually now illegal in the United States. Exactly. Isn't that right, Miss Daisy? 
and we love you so much. You have no idea. Well, maybe you have some idea. Yes. Maria, we haven't seen Anastasia in a bit. I know, Maria. But Anastasia is true to her Anastasia self, and she likes to come out at night. She is... One of those cats that still remains not the biggest fan of people, and we don't blame her. Although Tammy did mention on a wildcat wrap-up a few weeks ago that with this new bobcat habitat construction, which this will be a good segue to show the progress we've made, but you know, that she... Over to Daisy. I'm just going to make sure that she's not in her cave. And maybe we okay, can okay. Um, but as I was saying that Anastasia has been coming out and checking out the construction crew a little bit, but since we're talking about these new bobcat habitats, someone asked for an update on construction. We can go over here a little. They are very, very similar, identical actually to the setup of Shrek bobcats enclosure and Anastasia who's connected in this block. This is the new habitats. You can see the walls have gone up, the roof is on. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has been invested in this and supported this. It's come a very long way and now it's set up to just be filled with all the amenities that we were talking about earlier, the caves, the skywalks. So I'm so, so excited, especially going into spring to see how this fills out and obviously excited for the cats that will benefit from this space. But Judson is going to check on and see if Anastasia is out, so maybe we can catch her. But as I was saying, she's just a little aloof to people. Anastasia's background is one of those where she was coming from private ownership. And yeah, she's not the biggest fan of us. She likes to check out her neighbors and her cat friends, like Daisy here. What's the verdict, Judson? Any Anastasia? No, Anastasia is doing her own thing. Okay, that's what I figured. That's okay. I'm glad you checked. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's, and the caretakers are, are working over there as well, and I, I think it, it just would be best to give her the most space that we can. Yes, Carrie, Anastasia is visible to the construction crew. Wow, yeah, that's what ta yeah. that's what we heard, is that she likes to hang out with the construction crew, which is funny because she won't hang out with us, so well, yeah, <laughs> that I, works well, for and Anastasia. And I think it just goes to show of, you know, the construction crew, they were working a little late. Yeah, that's they true, were, that's uh, true. You know, they were here kind of past the normal human hours. And so it just goes to show things quiet down a little bit and it goes a long way for Miss Anastasia. Now, who do we have celebrating <laughs> that the grass is green I again? know. <laughs> Am I surprised? We need to throw a grass party. We do need it. Well, <laughs> for Indy. Olivia, I think that's what Saturday is. Uh, that day to 420. No, oh, 420. <laughs> Well, I said it. And you I didn't. Set, you set well, yourself up. There. I did. You set I yourself did. up. Oh, Miss Indy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the, the grass is indeed getting green here, and uh, I think uh, Indy, among with uh, many of the cats here, are just ecstatic about it. I'm happy for it. Ooh. <laughs> Always something to do. Speedy. Yep, she says, "I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chase Daisy." And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna go and chase Alyssa, and then it's gonna yeah. be a, just a full day of tiger antics for being a, cat, a tiger cub for a cat like Indy. Speaking of Alyssa, she's still. I was gonna say she or was she on moved on. on. <laughs> oh, this is kind of funny. Uh, I see. At least I think she's now making her way inside. Okay. But yeah, she is. At least we can see. Uh, her puzzle feeder is kind of moving. Oh there. yeah. <laughs> okay. So another sort of puzzle feeder that. Alyssa just checked out because you can see it moving. That's wobbling, a good observation. Wobbling back and forth here. Yeah. Just another form of enrichment, food enrichment specifically. And caretakers will put meat pieces in a barrel feeder like this. And it serves the same purpose as that puzzle feeder that we saw Shrek working okay. on earlier. And there she goes to go and acknowledge Alyssa. Yes. Indy, Indy's just uh, the, the people's cat. Absolutely. She, she just is friends with everyone, and, and we're happy about that. Uh, well, maybe, uh, Miss Olivia, we will kind of swing back out and, and take a right. Okay, let's do it. See. Yeah. Are you by Dash? Chrissy says, yes, we are. We won't head that way today, but if you go and check out our live from last week on Friday, I checked in with Dash for a while, so I definitely encourage you to go check that out. Tanya, love those chuff sounds. Me too. Oh, a chuff a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Absolutely. They say. They say. 
As they say, Judson. <laughs> That'd be a good... We need a shirt, Olivia. That's the next shirt. A know? tough a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> yeah. I like that idea, actually. There we go. All right. Maybe we can see if there's any cougars out and about. I did see Rainier earlier. I see somebody trying to get Aaron's attention over here. Looks like Tacoma. Tacoma. Aaron. All right, which way, Judson? Tacoma, uh, we'll Aaron? A, we'll, yeah, we'll kay. take a right. We did briefly check in with Aaron earlier. Right straight, you can see, uh, you know, it's almost like the the, the UTV cats, no. hadn't been pulled up to the building yet, but uh, uh, Alyssa, Daisy, Indy, they could uh, just smell the food they coming knew. down from the prep room, apparently. Um, but that's, this is interesting, little Tacoma kind of hanging out along this shared wall of Aaron's yard. Also dialed in on the UTV. Exactly. Wouldn't, ex wouldn't expect anything less from a handsome cougar. Your siblings were out and about. Yeah. I'm curious if maybe they settled down somewhere. Kelly, glad you caught our live. Kelly. Late is better than nothing. It's okay if you pop in late. Glad to have you, Kelly. Lots of people saying they like our t-shirt idea. Tough yeah. a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, look at that. Lots of uh, lots of cats eating their meal, and that sounds just about right. Maybe well, you see what the lazy tiger trio is up to. I, think I see so. a very sunny, sunny platform with a sunny tiger. Yes, there. and look at the sky. The sky is beautiful. Yeah, birds are chirping. The grass is coming in. I commented to you, Judson, that bugs are out. Bugs are bugs out. Bugs are out. Yeah. The bugs are out, and. Uh, you know, it comes, you know, one of the questions we get this time of year is, well, how, you know, what do you do if your cats get fleas or ticks? Uh, and very simply, we are able to apply a kind of a topical preventative like you would use for your uh, dog at home, for example, like a front line, essentially. Where's Olivia uh, going? Well, I was trying to, I was going to see if we could get his face. Well, let's see. Him. Let's yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to see his handsome face. <laughs> I was going to keep moving. Oh, there we there go. There we better. Mr. Griffin. Oh, no. There we go. There we go, Griffin. Thank you. I might disagree with you, Judson. We'll see. We'll see if he picks his head up. You're probably correct. And it's really cool to see, you know, Facebook waking up on the right side of the bed, so to speak. Uh, viewership numbers kind of averaging a little bit higher and and everybody uh, maybe commenting if they're new to the sanctuary. And, and, you know, one thing, you know, not to be too cliche, but you know, as a sanctuary and maybe, you know, for some of those who are on a rescue sanctuary, um, we always invite uh, anyone who's wanting to learn more about us to engage and comment and ask a question. Uh, and myself and Olivia and our awesome supporters are always going to be there to kind of welcome you in an, in an inviting and engaging way. Exactly. Never a dumb question. And if we miss your question ever in these lives, we will definitely circle back around and answer them later. Exactly. So. Lou Barrett says, hello, TWS. Hey, Lou. Hope all is well. Julie Neville, so I'm barely catching the live. Uh, I have to watch the beginning uh, later. Hi, everyone. Glad to have you for, for what, you, what we got you with, Julie. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of right on. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah. His head's fallen off the bed here. <laughs> we've all, you know, we've all been, we've been so <laughs> tired that we wake up and we're halfway off the bed. But that is just how good the sun feels on that tiger coat. Yes. And zoom out just a little bit. And what is, uh, I think it's Griffin. What is Griffin presiding over? What's right below that him on this platform? That would be an yeah. amazing in-ground pool. Exactly. And that is something if, you know, if, if we were to go into this indoor bedroom of, of the Tiger Trio and look and to see if they had a little calendar, they would be putting an X <laughs> yes. on every day until, until it gets pool. to pool opening season. Uh, the Tiger pools are a hit, and uh, I'm just so happy that that's kind of one of the many offerings that our rescues get to enjoy. Yes, and I'll zoom out even a little bit more. Yeah. This beautiful free-roaming habitat 
This face is very nice. All right, who's right? I think it's you were. It's Dimitri. It's Dimitri. I was right. Handsome Dimitri. I want to hear. I want to hear I? it, Judson. That I is, was right. Olivia was correct. <laughs> that is Dimitri. My tiger IDing uh -oh. is you know, decaying. I've, I've, you know, I took a few days off, Olivia, and I'm, oh, no. I'm basically back to being an intern. Again. Well, you got to catch up, Judson. <laughs> <laughs> We're holding you accountable. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of looking over my shoulder. Maybe we'll just quick and run and say hi to the Ukraine Pride, and I think we should. And we'll call that a beautiful spring live. Awesome. <laughs> and before we go over there, we'll just show everyone what what kind of the the pace is for the Ukraine Pride. Taras, he says, I'm just laying back on my platform. I see two of the sisters, uh, one kind of hanging out in a, in a group of trees, the other one watching us very diligently, Olivia. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just, I always like kind of pointing that out there because we're going to walk over there. We know the Ukraine lions, they're very social cats. They're going to come over and say hi to us, but it is cool, you know, before we do. Internet's already kicking us. There we go. We won't stay for long, Lions. We just want to say hi. Nancy, haha, I love the competitive cat identification. <laughs> well, of course, Nancy. <laughs> we have to see who's most on it for the day. Yeah, I think, I think Olivia could make an, an admission about just how competitive of an individual she is. I am quite competitive, and we just it makes it more interesting. It makes it more fun. Well, who is this, Judson? Don't mess it up. This is Stephania. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and she is being, <laughs> I don't see a cat, so I don't know I, what you're talking I was about. Say, yeah. <laughs> she is being about as still as it comes. And here comes her sister and I'm sure Prada. Oh, Prada's under the platform mm -hmm. back there. I didn't see her. Well, hello. hello. Yeah. Yeah, pretty ladies. You don't have a lion song to f I know. to finish that up with. Ms. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little chatty. Well, she's what do you think? saying hi to my sister. Hi, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> you're... I love this expression you're making. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia and I are just so unexciting. I know. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of people out there saying hi. Faith asking if we can zoom in on Taras. We definitely will before the live ends. Yeah, he, speaking of cats who are out like a light, he is. Uh, he he is out like he a can light. Be bothered no. to, to even think about removing himself from that sunny platform. You're looking pretty sleek, Stefania. Yeah. Are you losing any winter coat you might have? Yeah, very summery looking. Yes. Yeah, I I don't deny that at all. Let's see if we can get a quick look at Taras, who still has not lifted uh, his head at all. Yeah, out like a light, exactly. Yeah, yeah and then Prada's under the platform there, but uh, King Taras up on top of, uh, up on top surveying his domain. I don't think we'd expect anything less no. from that hairy guy. Daria asking, is Prada still the dominant female or one of these girls stepping up? You know, Daria, I, I do think it's Stefania in my opinion. I would, I would agree with that as well. Prada and Lacia probably go back and forth. Prada probably a little higher on the pecking, for, uh, pecking order than Lacia, but Stefania number one, I'd have to say. Enjoying the spring weather. You are right about that, Sydney. Hearing the birds chirp, seeing a little green grass pop through here. It is uh, refreshing, to say the least. Look at the beautiful baby face, Cindy Logan says. Not for long. Not for long, I know. Taras is looking just uh, more and more adult-like every single day. Uh, I mean, I even... I'm sure just checking in on, on weekly live posts for everyone, it's it's amazing to see how fast that hair is growing how much his size is increasing it's, it's just incredible incredible and i love uh just like i said before we walked over just the pace of life that the cats have prada she's getting some shade yes. under the platform lacia she came over here kind of 
uh, catted around with her sister and then it's back over uh, to hang out with the remainder of the family and and uh, it's just a, a great pace of life that your support affords our rescues and we're just so thankful for it well said and olivia 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 before i go today is monday today is monday and tomorrow is tuesday and typically on tuesdays we send out uh, a, news a newsletter and uh you can look forward to those e-newsletters, hearing lots of important information, cat updates, um, whether we're um, fundraising like we are now during Miracle Match fundraising updates. And tomorrow we have an e-newsletter hitting everyone's inboxes. Uh, and this one is special for two different reasons, two different reasons that you will find out uh, about tomorrow. But I'm just going to give a little nudge, a little wink, and a little push. To I'm giving sure a big nudge. A big bi nudge. A big yeah. nudge. Uh, just to make sure uh, that uh, everyone signed up for our e-newsletter and is going to be keeping their eyes peeled on the Wildcat Sanctuary pages uh, tomorrow. Yes, for sure. It'll be a good one. So that was my parting message um, okay. for everyone. And and uh, just so happy that we get to have a good little stroll today, I Olivia. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And lots of people joining us, too. It yeah. was a good one. Yeah. It was, and uh, as always, only made better by uh, by the people joining us on the live, our mm -hmm. supporters sharing in uh, all that they make possible for the cats here. So it was uh, really a special day. So thank you, everyone. For sure. Well, Judson, should we wrap it up? I think that is. We're, okay. We're uh, we're wrapping it up for the day. Tomorrow's Tuesday with some exciting TWS news coming. Um, but for now, uh, have a wonderful and awesome rest of your day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.